put in our dark area. So I'm going to get into the black, the blue, the red, alizarin crimson, get a dark color on my brush. And uh, we're going to have uh, some foliage in here. So let's just really roughly put that in just so that we know where it's going to be. Then we're going to have farther back uh, some movement back here, some bushes or whatever. And uh, again, uh, we'll have some uh, foliage coming out of there, some trees and things. This is a general swamp area, sort of. This is what we want to do. Uh, we can pull this down into the water here so that it acts as kind of a reflection. Do the same thing up here. Pull it down. Then get that clean brush again. Get that back again, the little rabbit hair brush, the soft blending brush, and just blend this out. Don't overdo it. Don't rub it to death. Just a little bit. Just soften it up and then leave it. It's fine. Same thing over here. There we go. Now we just get a little bit of uh, some reflected light here down at the shoreline. So we can tell where one ends and the other begins. That's our shoreline right there. Have the water gl glinting in the sunlight right there. Now, we'll go back to this. Get some dark colors again with my bristle brush. Pick this up at the local hardware store. I have a whole collection of them. The older they get, the better they get. I like them rough and ready to go. And they give me this beautiful foliage type look without even working for it. It's just so easy. It's just a natural thing that the brush does. It breaks as I push it into the canvas. I'm going to come down here with some really dark colors. I want to darken that up down there. I'm going to do some more up here. Darken this up a little bit back here. There we go. Get this a little higher to close off the edge of the canvas. And now uh, let's have some trees over on that side, on my right-hand side. I'll pick up the same paint mixture, the black, blue, red, and I'll just start tapping in some uh, foliage here. Leave spaces. There's always, when, whenever you look at a tree, you can always see the sky uh, shining through the spaces between the leaves. So try to, uh, try to imitate that. Try to leave, leave spaces. Don't fill it up. A lot of people have a tendency to fill up that thing. And well, that, that can happen too when it's very dense, when you have a lot of trees lined up one behind the other. But most of the time, in a painting, it's very advantageous to uh, let, it, uh, let the light shine through because that gives a very true appearance of, of your trees. We're going to start adding some uh, highlights to that foliage now. Uh, let's reflect that down into the water, too. Let's pull it down here. And while we're at it, we'll just soften it out with that same brush. Usually, the reflections in the water are actually darker than, than the subject itself. But uh, it's not a hard and fast rule. You can, you can work for it. But uh, if you don't do it, it really, it's, it's not going to hurt your painting. Your painting is still going to look very pretty. I'm going to go ahead and start adding some highlights up there. And I'm going to try uh, and show you uh, a, new, a new concept that I, I haven't done yet before here. And that would be to pick up my palette knife after I've done that, make sure I've got it nice and clean. And I'm just going to tap it into this little bit of paint here and move it out, which gives a more painted look rather. The other one, you can kind of see all the little points of paint sticking up from the tap, tap, tapping. But this time, I'm going to work, I'm going to work that paint in and make it look a little more painted, a little as, as if somebody worked a little harder on it. And that kind of adds a lot to your painting. Um, I don't always do this because uh, time is a factor. We only have the little half hour to work in. And uh, this works pretty good. You can see what we're doing. But I do want you to be aware of this idea of finishing the painting. Get that palette knife and, and work, it, work it in so that instead of looking just like that, it looks 
just like this. A little bit worked in and a little bit more painted. Now some of you are going to say, gee, I liked it better the other way. Why doesn't he just leave it? Well, that's good too. If you're one of the people that does like it better the other way, by all means, leave it. It's not a hard and fast rule. And even the hard and fast rules of painting can be broken and moved around. And uh, it, It's such a versatile medium that you can really do pretty much what you want with it.